Hey y'all, it's your girl Don Smith, and I'm here to vent. How do you gonna buy somebody on leverage? Because I don't know shit about leverage. Really? I know that. No, I don't. Um, me, I am um, not the most self-aware person. Okay. I like to. I lowball myself very, very often. Mm. Um, you I know. See that a lot nowadays. Huh? I see that a lot nowadays. Yeah, out I, here. yeah, I, I lowball myself quite often, and then you know. Um, but it's a way to keep me like grounded. You know, I don't. You know, like I should, I get like anxiety from compliments. You get what I'm saying? I don't, yeah. how to, I don't, I don't know how to work that shit. So yeah. you know, I don't put myself up quite often. So I don't know like leverage and shit like that. You get what right. I'm saying? I look back at some of my accomplishments. I'll be like, oh, I'm so fly, nigga. You know, when yeah. I look back. But other than that, like when I'm negotiating and shit like that, I do. Know. But how do you, how do you realize your leverage? How do you fucking quantify your fucking leverage? What you <laughs> have? What don't you have? How do you, right. how do, you do that? So. I would start by looking at the things that you've accomplished. Mm -hmm. You write that down. Mm -hmm. um, it's always better to have those things visually. Have it written down. Like, remind yourself. Celebrate. Because what happens is people don't really, me included, people don't really look at what they've accomplished. They don't look at the successes that they've had. All these small little achievements they lead up to that big success that you're looking for right so in order to create leverage you have to know first what you've done once you know what you've done look at what you have so for you for example right you have a show you have a youtube channel you have subscribers you have people that appreciate you and your brand and are willing to just you know go out their way come to your show come you know be on it and things like that so you have to utilize what you've done and what you have mm -hmm. to create the leverage for what you want mm -hmm. so say for example right i have um i have a fashion show coming mm -hmm. up right the leverage for you mm -hmm. would be well, I have a platform, I have a show, I have a YouTube channel. Mm. So I'll come and I'll put your show on my YouTube channel mm. and we can figure out how that can, you know, work both ways. Mm. My brand of my fashion show may or may not be bigger than your YouTube channel, mm. but you want to target people that, in order to get monetary value, mm. you want to target people that don't have what you have. Mm -hmm. have not accomplished what you have accomplished mm -hmm. so that's how I determine my leverage mm -hmm. I look at everything all of these shows that I've done all of these people that I've worked with mm -hmm. all of all of the all of the things I have proof that I've accomplished mm -hmm. and then I look at all right I got a creative studio um, I have connections I have these skills and the know-how on how to build somebody's business I could technically be a millionaire this year mm -hmm. you know what i mean if i use the leverage that i have that's okay wow so yeah you just yeah i, I don't pawn these gems ladies and gentlemen <laughs> so, so <fucking laughs> like you just made it like quantifiable because you like i said um I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You every now and then you'll get a, a thing, an archive on Facebook or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I did I do that, right? <laughs> yeah. I I'll, that. I'll, I'll, I'll be like, yo, I did do that. And um, you know, like I, I forget so a lot of the shit that I've done, things like that. And so it's like I said, this making it like your leverage and negotiate I'm, I'm terrible at nego you know what you're negotiating on my deals you're now my agent I got you. you're my no agent problem. from now on you understand if you want <laughs> if you try to talk to slap you gotta holler that down like, Yo, you understand listen, what I'm, saying? I'm not gonna hold you i got this friend right he's mm -hmm. one of my business partners vj and he tells me all the time because whenever we were getting venues or i needed a venue for something i'm the queen of getting stuff for free mm -hmm. or for reduced pricing mm -hmm. um I told him that I got uh, the Miami venue mm. to do the fashion show for free. Mm. I didn't pay anything. Mm. And he was like, yo, how do you do this? We don't even live in Miami. Mm -hmm. Like, I just know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about. I'm confident when I speak to these people. If they don't have something to tell me mm. that I want to hear, then I'm going to keep it pushing. That's so fair. So, it's just funny to hear that because, like, he calls me the queen of negotiation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you got to go through the <laughs> no rule. Right. Hey, y'all. It's Dom Smith, and I just vented. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.